Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and if you are using Microsoft Edge, and even if you're not, well, also a security update. Uh, Edge is uh, affected by the same zero-day security flaw that Google Chrome, Firefox, and every browser is affected. So if you go into the upper right corner, three horizontal dots, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge, you'll be updated to version 116.0.1938.81. So this update, of course, is to protect you against a zero day exploited by hackers already out there uh, with the WebP image format. And of course, this means that you should um, make sure that you update uh, the browser. It contains several other fixes also. This does not contain only the WebP fix. It seems that it contains a few other things uh, because they do mix in the, they do say that it actually fixes that security flaw, but it also fixes a few other things, including some performance uh, and some crashes that some people might have seen. So it's a mix of the security update and bug fixes at the same time. Um, even if you don't use Edge, I recommend that you do update the browser anyways. For a simple reason is that links or anything that you click because of the way Microsoft actually um, works, you never know when Edge could be actually popping up instead of your favorite browser. So it's always a wise and good idea to uh, update it. I've noticed that in computers where Edge isn't used, it tends to actually stay put to an old version. So uh, it's not a bad idea to uh, click it from time to time, make sure that it updates itself. So uh, check it out for zero day, uh, already exploded in the wild, apparently quite easy. Uh, it's not, uh, there's a reason why everybody's a little panicking with the update uh, with the WebP problem because it is definitely a big zero day that is exploited right now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.